This is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com. I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. What I want to do in this video is walk through one of the more interesting functions built into the, this phone, and that's its one-hand mode. Uh, basically, the premise is that the phone is pretty gigantic, so much so that with one hand, you can't navigate over the entire device. So what Samsung allows you to do is to shrink the active area of the screen down to just this tiny little portion. So effect effectively, instead of having uh, you know, a 5.7 inch display, you're cutting the phone down to, uh, you could choose, but maybe the size of a four inch display. And they make this easy to trigger uh, and easy to activate, so long as you have the function actually turned on. So here it is right now, and you can see this is actually the full on version of, uh, of Android. It just happens to be crammed into this tiny little window. And it has all your soft buttons, your volume controls, everything. You can even swipe down and open up your settings. The, uh, so here's how to, how to activate it. So let's assume you're at your home screen and you want to turn on one hand mode. Uh, we'll swipe down, go to our settings up there. Once you're in settings, you want to, uh, you could search using device or controls or whatever, but the easiest thing to do is just to is just to search rather than hunting for it. And we'll start typing in one handed operation. And you can see that it's the first thing that's going to pop up. Go to one handed operation. And right now, what you're going to want to do, at least for most people, is, is activate use for all screens. Uh, you know, it's obviously it's perfect for your keypad because uh, dialing is a perfect uh, time for using one handed operation. Uh, same with the calculator or the keyboard or your unlock pattern. All, all very cool things that you uh, may want to turn on. But for our purposes, we'll just demo it with all screens. So once these things are turned on, you can check out the tutorial, but uh, we'll skip that. So now you're back in your normal phone. And what you need to do to operate one-handed mode is you need to trigger it clearly. So uh, what you do is you go swipe one direction and the opposite direction really quickly takes some getting used to but there you go once that happens it'll pop in and then uh, so this area is dead to you uh, you, you can click it and it, it won't trigger it so uh, if you have a little misfire it's not a big deal then uh, what you're gonna want to do is press one of those and it'll pop back so again you're in your browser you're screwing around you're reading the internet swipe one way swipe the other way the uh, the key is to kind of move off of the screen Otherwise, what it's going to do is it's just thinking you're swiping left and right. <clears throat> and there, what's cool about this is you could move the window around anywhere you want on the screen. And, uh, you know, it, that'll be useful if you're left-handed or right-handed. In this case, I'm lefty, so I would move it off to the side and maybe towards the bottom, depending on how I have the phone oriented in my hand. And then uh, what you could also do is is resize it. So if you're uh, if you got huge mitts, you put it there. If your hands are a little bit smaller, then you can scale it down. So back home, and this is where it's kind of harder to trigger is when there's actually left and right action built in, uh, because the phone may think you're going to want to use it that way. But if you go from the bezel and back in a quick motion, you'll trigger it. And then let's get this back where it should be, right there. Pretty slick. So yeah, that is the Samsung Galaxy Note 3's one-handed mode. Thanks for watching.